Hello, welcome, and let's get started on this cute little crochet car applique. Let's start with a slip knot. You can use any kind of yarn, any size of hook for this. It'll come out in different sizes, but I'm just using a number four medium weight, and I'm using a four and a half millimeter crochet hook. So let's start by chaining 11. We're then going to do a single crochet in the third chain from your hook. This will create a little loop. So one, two, three. We're going to go right into there and make a single crochet. And then we're going to single crochet all the way along the side so you'll have nine single crochet all together. So this one's number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and in the last chain, number nine. You will then do a chain one and turn. We're going to start in that very first stitch and we're going to do single crochet. So right in that very first one, we're going to do nine single crochet. So two, three, four, five, Seven. This will be eight and nine. We're then going to turn vertical. So now that loop at the beginning is where we're going to put three single crochet. So it's that little space that we kind of made. So right in there, just kind of have to maybe pull it apart with your finger a little bit. And we're going to go three single crochet in that top space. And this is number three. So we're going to turn it again and work down the side. So now we will put nine single crochet and it's going to go into the chain space from that first round. So you'll see each one in there. Just don't miss any spaces. So we have one, Two, three, four, five, six. I should have three left there. Seven, eight, and one more. We can then chain one and turn. Again, we'll start in that very first stitch. This time we're going to do 10 single crochet up the side. This will be number six. This is eight, then we'll have nine and ten. And now sh you should be at that very top single crochet from the chain, from the three single crochets from the round below, we're going to put the three single crochet in the middle one. So three single crochet at the top, which is two and three. And then turning, going back down the side with ten single crochet.
Now we have 9 and one more 10. And we're going to go around one more time. So chain one and turn. Starting in the first, let's do 11 single crochet. And then it'll be three single crochet and then 11 single crochet. So here we are now at the top and we'll put our three single crochet in the next stitch. So one, two, and three, and then the 11 single crochet down the side. So this is number 10, and then we have number 11. And that's what you should have so far. We're now going to start the roof part of the car. So let's start with a chain of 13. This is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, And we're going to come back to that part right there. 9, 10, 11, 12, and one more, 13. So we're going to slip stitch down the last four chains. So coming back four chains, we're going to slip stitch into one, and then into two, then into the third, and then into the fourth. This will leave our eight chains that we started with. Seven, eight. And now we're gonna chain eight more to do the other side of the roof that will come around the side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And now we're going to attach the roof to the other side of the car. Count up from the center, one, two, three, four. This is where we're going to insert our hook to attach the top of the car. So in that fourth chain from the center, so just pulling that top part forward, we're going to insert into there and we're going to draw up our yarn and then chain one. So that will attach it. So now you can see how it's attached. So now we will do single crochet into each of these chains. So it'll be 17 single crochet all the way around the top. So sometimes it can get a little tight in there, but just be patient and get your 17 single crochet in there. So this here is number eight. 
So that's the eighth single crochet. And now you'll be at that top center section. So that'll be nine. And then you'll have another eight going down. So eight more single crochet. This is what it should look like so far. We're now going to continue along and put six, six single crochet along the back of the little car. So just find any little space you can at the end of the rows there and do six single crochet. This one here is number four, five, and six. And then we can put two single crochet in that corner stitch. So let's put one and one more into the same one and two. So now we're just going to crochet all the way around the outside of the little car with single crochet. So now that we've made it all the way around, we're going to attach that top part of the car on. So just go right into the top of that stitch, just getting under both there. That's of the first single crochet that we made. And we're going to do a slip stitch to join. So just getting your hook in there. There we go. And let's do a slip stitch. And there's the base of your little car. Cut the yarn leaving a pretty long tail so that we can use that to attach to whatever you're going to attach it to. I am going to attach it to a little hat. So after you've cut your yarn, just pull it through. We will start by weaving in our beginning yarn. So with your darning needle, we're just going to weave it to the back and we're going to attach that little section of the window trim. So just weave your yarn in and out and then when you get to that middle section, you can just attach the trim. If your end wasn't long enough, you can always attach that portion when you're attaching it to your hat. So, but right now I just want to weave it in and do it this way. Whichever way works best for you.
we can now make our little tires. I'm going to show you two different styles. This is version one. It kind of looks like little spokes in there. So I'll show you in a different color to make it easier to see. But we're going to start with a slip knot and chain two. In the first chain, we're going to put five half double crochet. So all in that first little chain, there's one half double crochet, two, three, four, and five. We're then going to slip stitch to join in the top of the very first half of double crochet that we made. So right in there, we're just going to do a slip stitch. From there we will chain one and now we're going to put two single crochet in each of those five stitches. So starting in the first one, one and two and working around putting two in each stitch. One, two, and continue. And then we will slip stitch to join in the top of the first single crochet we made. And then we will cut our yarn and pull through. So leave it a little bit longer as well so we can attach the, the tire to the car. So we can weave in our beginning yarn. So with your darning needle, that beginning yarn, we will just weave it into the back. So with a different color, we'll do our spoke. So just grab about a 12 or 15 inch piece of yarn. It doesn't have to be very long. And we're just gonna start in the center and pull up. Just to leave a little bit of a tail and we're gonna go into each one of those two single crochet spaces. So coming up from the center and then going down into one of the two single crochet space. There should be five of them. And there you go. You can just tie those two ends together with a knot and clip them.
Here I will now show you the version two of the little tire. Again, we're gonna start with the chain two. So one, two. And in that very first chain, we're gonna do five single crochet. We will then slip stitch to join in the top of the first single crochet. So just get into there and do a slip stitch. So this will be the center of our tire or the wheel and now we're going to pull up a new color of yarn. So with your new yarn we can just pull that color through and then just give a pull or tug on the first one. We can then chain one with our new color and in that very first stitch we're going to do two single crochet. So just in the first stitch there. So we're going to do two single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Once you've come all the way around, let's slip stitch to join in the top of the first single crochet. Again, leave a long enough tail so that we will have enough to attach it to the car. So cut your yarn and pull through. So with your long end that you just cut, we can just take our darning needle on this and we're just going to uh, close the end off just to make it look nicer. So just put your thread in your needle, if I could get this right, there we go. So we're just going to attach it properly here on the wheel. So we're just going to take our end and secure it in, so we're going to go right into the stitch and then we're going to go one more stitch in there just to make it look nicer. So just going in to cover that starting stitch up. And there, looks much nicer. We can then take our other yarns and just tie a knot in the back and our beginning yarn weave in and then we can attach it to the car. Place the tires where you would like them and attach. We can then attach our little car onto our hat or whatever else blanket that you want to attach it to. I like to just pin it into place and then with that long yarn that we left, just weave in and out and go all the way around to attach it. Once it's attached, I will take two different color yarns and I'll make the headlight and the tail lights. Be sure to check in the description 
for the link on how to make the cute little beanie. Thank you for watching on how to make this cute little car applique. I hope you had as much fun doing it as I have. See you next time. Bye.